welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Media Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood. And I'm with a very talented Adolfo with his movie The Machine. Let's take a look at a clip. Ma'am, I'm Arnold Wachowski. I'm the senior secretary of the immigration department of the United States Embassy in Cuba. Yes? I, I would like to confirm that this is a Sanchez household. Sanchez? Juan Carlos Sanchez and family? Adolfo, um, congratulations on your film. Thank you. It's really, it's really good because you came to New Filmmakers and then you submitted your film and your film got into the film festival and it's brilliant. So I'm very happy for you. Um, but for those that haven't seen The Machine, tell us the brief synopsis. Um, the Machine is about a Cuban family that receives a phone call from the American Embassy mm -hmm. telling them that they want the American visa lottery. So there is a big fight because the wife wants to come to live in the United States and the husband wants to stay living in Cuba. Mm -hmm. and everything happens in 10 minutes and you... Uh, it's really good. Like, honestly, like, the, you, you, you immediately fall for the relationship and what she wants and what he wants. and. Mm -hmm. It's a great short film because this conflict is already like, you know, it already begins from the very first moment. Um, where did the where did the inspiration come for you in making the film? Um, uh, the inspiration came out of a homework I had to do for college, mm -hmm. where I had to write a story using different kind of types of dialogue. Mm -hmm. But I think it, it comes from uh, this uh, uh, kind of obsession there is in, in Cuba in general of migrating or coming to live to the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the questions that represented for me to leave Cuba or go and leave your family or things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, um, you're from the beautiful Cuba, like you just were all in, all in love with Cuba in the United States. And so um, now you've moved obviously you moved to LA, now in New York as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that kind of journey like for you as a filmmaker moving from Cuba, making the film there and coming to Los Angeles? Um, it's in a way, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> like the visa, also, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, one of the reasons why I came here was to have a be in a context where I could develop my career as a mm -hmm. filmmaker. And mm -hmm. being here in, in the United States and between New York, LA, uh, allows me to uh, expand my possibilities and exhibit my film. And mm -hmm. in Cuba, it was impossible to submit to film festivals. Mm -hmm. There is almost no internet and uh, it helps a lot to have more th that chance. We need to make more film in Cuba as well. <laughs> I, I, love, I love it. Um, now, I, I, I think she was fantastic. Like, I love her dynamic as an actress. She just is on point because it's very hard when you're doing and making a film mm -hmm. and you're, you're spending most of the time on the telephone as well. Yeah. So you've really got to have great acting skills. So how, how, is the, how do you come about casting the film? Uh, the, uh, the cast was, I, I met Hilda in the theater company where I used to work in, mm -hmm. in Cuba and uh, she was, she looked perfect for, for the role and she's an actress that most of the time in Cuba she plays very sweet characters, sometimes even characters for TV shows for children, mm -hmm. but I wanted to take out of her like a more aggressive mm -hmm. personality and at the same time this is a story that it's in a way sad and, and tragic but i wanted it to be more like a comedy so we worked a lot with uh, on on the rhythm so when we were shooting i would tell her do it faster and she would say faster yeah, yes mm -hmm. so it was a 13 minutes uh, script that had to be in uh, end in in 10 minutes mm -hmm. with the credits and, and all wow and so i think that helped in, in the rhythm and also because it's in, inspired in a way my mother that she's always she's running. always like <laughs> <laughs> so no it's really it's i know it's, it's fantastic um now like you know it, it, you have to when you're making a short film you really have to you know feel the characters almost instantaneously in making this film you had like an immediate immediate conflict which is always yeah. important in comedy okay. um but with these particular two characters like you know they had a great dynamic together, mm -hmm. really funny. Did you as a director, were you supporting them in trying to create that chemistry or was it something that they kind of did themselves? No, I, I had to create that relation. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted a relation where she had the power mm -hmm. and she was the violent one and she mm -hmm. was the one who hit him. Yes. And 
I, I used as reference uh, Amarcord, the movie by Federico Fellini. There is mm -hmm. this great couple in the movie that they are always fighting, mm -hmm. yeah, but they love each other very much. Yeah. So I wanted that to be seen or uh, represented by, by them. Yeah. So we worked on that in a way that he was trying to calm her down all the yeah. time, but she was very aggressive. She was very aggressive. <laughs> <She, laughs> and they loved brilliant. her very much. Yeah, yeah, you can tell there's the love still there, even if they're fighting all the time. Yeah. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you making it a golfer? Mm, the biggest challenge for making it? I guess the time it took to, to happen. Uh, to have patient mm -hmm. patience to to do it. Mm -hmm. um, How long did it take you to make it? I, I wrote the story ten years ago. Mm -hmm. I decided to shoot it like three years ago, maybe, mm -hmm. and then the process of getting the funds and uh, was very complicated. But yeah, then yeah. one day it happened, everything suddenly. So mm, so here you go, and you, all of a sudden, um, yeah. you know, what is it like? Because we obviously. This particular month was celebrating Latin cinema, mm -hmm. Hispanic Heritage Month, and it was New Filmmakers LA partnering with the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. What was that experience like last night, having your film showcased there? It was amazing, and I loved the reaction of, of the people, and uh, the fact that it was uh, screened in, in, in this venue. So. It's like a great recognition for me. I, mm. I feel more like I can start saying now that I'm a filmmaker. Oh, uh, you're a hundred percent a filmmaker. You, you've had so your like film selected by new filmmakers yeah. and recognized by the Academy. I mean, that's pretty. It's not a bad start to your move to to the United States. Um, you know, um, it's really quite wondrous. What what was it like as well? Like having obviously it was the in focus of Latin cinema. What was it like having like films from? Cuba and Guatemala and Mexico and Peru, like all these amazing countries and, and being part of that one program. Um, it was very interesting to yeah. see different perspectives mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of the films, uh, yeah, it was, it was good. What is next for you, Adolfo? What's happening? What are you doing now? Um, right now I'm working as assistant editor in a movie mm -hmm. and I would like to do a movie in Cuba. Uh, that would be my next. What project. kind of genre would you like to do in Cuba? In general, mm -hmm. it would be a thriller. A oh, a thriller. A, a, thriller. a thriller in Cuba. Yes. I like that. Yeah. It's, it's called for now the animal, and it's about it's during the 13 days of the missile crisis in mm -hmm. Cuba in 1962 mm -hmm. in a house outside, uh, in the outside of the city, in the middle mm -hmm. of nowhere. So fantastic. Well, I, I I can't wait to see it, and you know, honestly, I. I Every time I see a film in Cuba, it's just always really exciting because it's such a beautiful country. So, um, no, thank you very much. What, what one piece of advice would you give, being international myself as well, what piece of advice would you give anyone that wants to kind of move to LA to, or move to the United States and continue their filmmaking? Do you have any advice for anyone out there that wants to make the same thing, same trip you did? Mm, I think uh, I would advise to be patient too. Yeah, and try to recognize and know the, 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 the area, mm -hmm. the context, mm -hmm. and keep working. Uh, patience is a virtue, most definitely. Um, Adolfo, I love your work. I can't wait to see this, this feature in Cuba. I'm hoping we can all go to Cuba. Is that Me right? too. Yeah, 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 we did talk about that last time. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm holding you to that now, actually. Uh, but no, thank you very much, and thank, and you. thank you for your vision. Congratulations on your film again. Thank you. All right, thank you.